Greetings, YouTube. I have seen a lot of crazy explanations from Kabam Mike over the years. And sometimes crazy really should mean passive-aggressive. You know, I've seen him chew out people for complaining about the game. I've seen him act like a, a bitter ex-girlfriend. I know his name's technically not Kabam Mike, but I call him Kabam Mike because he often drops the mic on logic and patience and reason. And even just reasonableness. And so, when I saw there was an official forum post today to discuss the new 12.5 thousand six star dual class crystal, which of course is right here, I thought, huh, they're really going to expect people to be okay with the fact that they changed the president of the price. Same price as the basic for four stars, same price as the basic for five stars. 25% increase for six stars. I expected it not to go well. What I didn't expect was to learn about a regret that Kabam has regarding the game. So let's go to that forum post as I darken the screen for a second while I pull it up and give you all a little bit of insight into what Kabam is thinking. So they're here, Bastrong says. Yodabolt21 is the first person that comments, and for 2,500 more shards, so lame, makes no sense whatsoever. Now, Kabam would counter that we don't want to make sense, we want to make sense, as in C-E-N-T-S. And our pocketbook demands that we do all we can to make money. Uh, it's about dang time. They cost 2,500 shards, though, or 12,500, I should say. 2,500 more shards than uh, else is what I was trying to say. Uh, Meritok says, I'll say I'm very pleased they decided to make them universally available, but why make them cost more? Five-star dual crystals still cost 10,000. Why make six stars cost more? If it's because they're more valuable than basics, why aren't five-star duels more expensive? Will the cost go down over time? What's the reasoning, Kaban? So obviously, several people, including myself, wanted the explanation. Now, I thought the minimum explanation was they wanted to make more money, right? I have no doubt that there might be some six-star shard deals coming in the next few days trying to capitalize on this new demand for maybe trying to open these crystals. Now, you can see something like Masakre is using words like insane to describe this price gouging. Uh, X Havoc, same thing. Lightbringer. Five-star ones were released for 10,000 shards. The cost didn't go down or anything. I don't know why this cost more than the pool is wider now. I don't see any justification for the extra cost or any justification for most staff kabam doing this this week. Lightbringer, we're going to talk about your syntax, but uh, I get the general idea of your post. Should have been 10,000 only available to Thronebreaker Plus, Skylord says. Now, I will say Cavalier is again the cutoff for something important. Usually, it's like a special anniversary or holiday calendar. In this case, it's a crystal. I get, and I don't get why it costs more. Furry Moosin says, Yes, shrinking the pool of champs gives you a much higher shot at getting the champion that you want, but the odds of pulling a top champ versus a bottom champ don't change much at all. There's still nearly as many reasons to mourn a crystal opening as there is to celebrate. Should have stayed consistent with the four and five stars and not increased the cost of the crystals. It's likely also especially bad timing with how the last 24 hours have gone. So it's unfortunate. And yes, Battlegrounds has been received about as well as a uh, extra visit to the DMV. Where you just feel like you don't want to be there the whole time. And your time is also being taken up and so is your energy. So Command Mike actually responded a couple times to this post as you can see. And we could spend 30 minutes on this video. And Lord knows when I try to get through posts and still read fast, I get, I get two different complaints. Prof, you speak too fast, you need to slow down. And Prof, you speak too slow, you need to speak up faster. <laughs> or you need to get to the point. Well, the point is all these different points, you know? Uh, so, Kabam Mike, first comment. I know what you're trying to say. And by the way, when somebody says, I know what you're trying to say, that's basically throwing shade that you didn't say it well enough. If you're trying to say something... You didn't succeed. So that's a little bit of passive-aggressive shade coming from Kabam Mike. 
to start this. What we're seeing is dual class six star crystals are not pro player. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. If this was 10,000 uh, six star shards price, it would be very pro player. They're not saying it's not pro player. They're saying that the, the increase in the price is not pro player. So Kabam Mike's trying to change the narrative. It's a very tactical politician move to change the narrative. There is no rule here saying that you now have to stop buying the 10,000 crystals and only buy the class crystals. They might be a bit different than other classes as they were introduced, but those champs weren't at the top of the food chain and we're not ready to make them available for the exact same price as six stars yet. So again, that message was very strange and not at all what I was interpreting from the several comments. This was reinforced by people who commented after this post. Not all six-star champions are made equal, nor at the top of the food chain, which these dual crystals are full of as well. I understand they don't have to buy them, but shouldn't the company go into changes with the outlook that players will want to spend in this change? People will do it out of necessity, not out of it being a good deal. Well, that's true, especially if you're targeting a specific champion like I am currently with Shang-Chi. Anyway, says we have over 220 champions in the game. There should be a reasonable way to specifically target champions. Six-star dual crystals are a solution to that problem. But adding a one-fourth the price of a six-star in order to do that is unreasonable. It should just be a given that it costs the same as a normal crystal. Again, Kabam wants to disagree because they want to make more money. And they want to increase the demand for six-stars and uh, six-star shards specifically. The more you price something, the more suddenly you're tempted to buy things like daily specials for five bucks to get more six-star shards. Or... Uh, even the stamps, which have a very generous amount of six-star shards for both Throne Breaker and Wallet Breaker especially. So, Kabam Mike eventually sees the comments, or at least some of the comments, and responds a second time. And this is where, to me, it gets really crazy and where we have ourselves a little bit of the reason behind my title for this video. All right. I would ask that you ask yourselves that question. I would ask that you ask. What? What makes the dual class more valuable than a basic? And in theory, it's it's that you get a better chance, a much better chance, to land a specific champion. But I've covered this. I've opened plenty of dual class Nexus crystals and haven't even landed on the class I wanted. You can open a dual class looking for, say, Omega Red, and you'll get nothing but skill champions. So, Command Mike says, why shouldn't it be more? And this is where he tries to change the entire course of the argument. I get the president set by the five star and four star crystals, but it was exactly that president that kept us from launching these earlier. So the price point that we set kept us from continuing that trend. Dang inflation coming over to a mobile game with code. We know players wanted them. We weren't ready to make the more specific six stars available for that same cost, but also knew that when we added them for five stars, we set that president. It was either break the president or keep waiting. For complete transparency, which I genuinely am appreciative of, so I don't want to be a hypocrite for that. We learned pretty quickly after the release of the five star duel that we shouldn't have made them the same price. Now, my question is, what the hell does that mean? You learned that you shouldn't have made them for the same price? Are you saying that you learned that players got too good of champions from them? Because I would tell Mom Bear all the time we would open five-star dual-class crystals for champions I was hunting in my five-star hunts, which of course have gone away from my channel now, that they were oftentimes the worst value for your shards because when I was missing that champion, I was landing on a bunch of average trash. When you take four out of six classes away, yeah, it helps the odds of landing a specific champion, but it also takes away... The gods here and beyond gods are champs, those four to six classes that get taken away. So I have no idea what he means by this. It's very confusing and very strange. We decided the best case was to leave them as is, but didn't want to repeat that again. So they fully regret the president they set with the five-star duels. That's not debatable. That's just taking his words and interpreting them. And I don't want this, as usual, to be uh, something that risks a 10 minutes with quadruple ads or even five times the ads now that YouTube continues to revamp their ad structure. So I will say this in closing. This makes sense if it's either a class-based Nexus or just a one class. If it's a Nexus, fine. But 2,500 six-star shards extra 
is a ripoff, and Kabam Mike is contra contradicting himself here again.